making and shooting a trebuchet and experimenting with range. If you would like to see the material list, please press pause right here and write it down. There is a chop saw and some pieces of wood. We're using just dried out uh, Douglas fir and pine and we have two by four and these are one by two, which is realistically three quarters by one and a half of a ski square. This diagram shows all the parts labeled. You can press pause to write it all down. The trebuchet is finished. I used a nail at the top here to launch it. This is 550 cord. There is a old t-shirt sleeve, which is going to be a pouch that holds the golf ball. This is a 5 sixteenths inch steel rod that I got at Home Depot. We have a two, two and a half pound weights for a total of five pounds. From testing it, I noticed that we do need a piece of a cord here to act as shock cord to absorb the shock. So that way the uh, uprights stay together and don't get knocked apart. And then I do need, do need to put a piece right here that is nailed into both sides to keep the uh, uprights sturdy in a left to right style motion. Uh, we're gonna take it and uh, test it a little bit. This is a finished product. Note that there's a lot of reinforcement that needed to happen at the bottom to be able to keep the uprights sturdy. And it needs reinforcement on this side, in the back, and also on the front. And uh, it also needed lateral reinforcement here. Yeah. And this is how the test went. It didn't go quite as far as we anticipated. We changed the catapult style for a consistent release. For the catapult, we're using a spray paint cap, and this is the sling. One of my dad's sleeves that we cut off. As you can see now, um, we have five pounds. Right now, we have it at 10 pounds. Ball went about 10 feet with 5 pounds. 5 pounds. I used virtualtrebuchet.com to calculate the range with 10 pounds, which came out to 20.8 feet. Pause if you'd like to see it. We got um, at 5 pounds, 10 feet, at 10 pounds, the last one was 5, was at a little bit less than 18 feet, and at 15 pounds, we had it a little bit more than 20 feet, like 20 and a half feet. Remember that our calculation said 20.8 feet for 10 pounds, but instead we got 10 feet for five pounds, not quite twice at 18 feet for 10 pounds, and it took 15 pounds to get to 21 feet, which is close to the 20.8.
we switch back to using the sling to see if we can get a little more range even though it is harder to work than the paint cap cup that shoots like a catapult. The sling release is a little harder to control, so sometimes you get bad launches. One. Using the sling in trebuchet mode is definitely better for range as long as you get the technique down. This is in trebuchet mode. With 15 pounds. 15 pounds. This was a catapult. 10 feet catapult zone. Still catapult. Um, this was 10 pounds. 18 feet. This was a catapult. A little, a little bit less than 21 feet. Like 20 and a half feet for the catapult at 15 pounds. And this is a trebuchet at 15 pounds. A little bit more than 24 feet, but it is super inconsistent. Want to chop backwards. Hope you've enjoyed our trebuchet experiments for range and weight. Thank you to virtualtrebuchet.com for the calculations. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see similar content.